everyone, Candy here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this video might not be like the best one to start on. Uh, this is just going to be a get ready with me chit chat. I've been sort of off the scene for a few weeks now. And so I just wanted to do this quick sort of, well quick, it's probably not going to be quick to be honest. This little sort of chit chat. Let's do my makeup. I'm literally not going anywhere. I'm just doing my makeup to give you guys what you want while I tell you what's been happening because a lot has happened in my life. Sadly, a lot has happened in my life. Uh, I've got a new setup. That's probably the first thing. The camera is also different. I'm using my vlogging camera now uh, because I had to leave the other camera that I used behind. That will all become clearer sooner. I'm gonna start with my primer and I guess we'll just start with what happened a few weeks ago. So primer I'm gonna use, I haven't used this one in a while and I feel like I need to mix it up a bit. This is the um, Mecca Cosmetica Face Series and this is the Illuminating Primer. I love this primer. I can't go into like too much detail uh, so there's a, you know, there's a lot of the story that you guys aren't gonna know because it's respectful and I'm sure you guys would all understand that. But uh, effectively we've split. Uh, I have separated from my partner for years for a few different reasons. It's been quite hard on me. Um, I've now moved out, got my own little like one bedroom apartment place which I just love and I really love my own space and I love my own time. I've got a very demanding job so I really like just being able to, I mean it's like six o'clock at night now, but I can film because I don't have a partner or somebody else, you know, to spend time with as such. So it's not selfish, this is probably going to come across quite selfish, but trust me, I'm not being selfish, I'm I'm taking care of me. So, right, let's go into foundation and I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour. I love this foundation. This is gonna be way too dark for me right now. So I'm gonna add the LA Girl Pro Coverage. This is the white foundation lightener. I did use this the other night. I went out to dinner with my friends and actually lightened up the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation that was a little bit too dark. Lightened that up and it was beautiful. So let's mix it with these two and see what happens. So yeah, I have moved out and um, we're still in obviously close contact and things and there's a lot to organise and a lot to sort out and I just needed to clean my head. It was all getting a bit too much. I was really sacrificing a lot. Let's just say that. I was sacrificing a lot to be in that relationship. A lot of me and a lot of other different things. So um, yeah, so that got very exhausting. And uh, with my job as well, it's just too much. I've got to sort out my life. I've got to get my life together. I've got to get my life back on track. I've got to lose some weight because the last few months with everything that has gone on, um, is that gonna be the right color? Man, it's weird. Um, I've put on a lot of weight and I'm starting to actually notice health issues. I've got to get my health back on track. I've got to get my mental health back on track. That's also very, very important to me. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you'd have no idea what's been going on for me. Um, I would, if you want to see what goes on for me behind the scenes, um, I definitely suggest um, go adding me on Snapchat. Um, my username is Candied Makeup because I literally put my life on Snapchat. So, and I've been Snapchatting a lot lately. I've been Snapchatting like my new place and yeah, my new adventures in life. Yeah, so what else can I tell you guys? Um, yeah, it's just a bit rough for me right now. I am not intending on dating anytime soon. Um, hell no. And I promise you, the next boyfriend I have is going to be not camera shy. He is going to be YouTube ready and he's going to let me put makeup on him. That has to be my criteria. So through be being even just on my own for like the last week, I've kind of discovered quite a few things about myself. I've discovered that like, I don't know how this is gonna come across, I don't want sympathy, but I've discovered that I really actually don't like myself. Believe it or not, I'm not incredibly confident. I've had the self-confidence sucked out of me. So I've got a lot of that to rebuild. Also the weight gain also doesn't help. That really does not make you feel very good about yourself. So there's that and you know I'm just I'm not my own best friend like I I'm actually really horrible to myself and if I treated a best friend the way that I treat myself my god they wouldn't be my friend long like it's just not good and so I'm just taking you know a bit of time to be friends with myself and to enjoy my own company and enjoy my own space and to love myself. I feel really good about it and it just it definitely felt like the right thing to be doing like I think you know when it's, it feels right and you know when whatever you're gonna do is right for you. And you know, I'm trying to stay positive and to be honest, if it wasn't for the makeup community, I don't know how I would have coped. Um, 
I think the makeup community gave me that just a little bit of self-confidence um, and self-esteem and without that I really wouldn't have had any and I don't know how how I would be right now I, I would be so much worse so thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart um, for all your love and support like your strangers and the love that you have sent me is just it, it's probably saved me so thank you concealer always the um, LA Girl Pro Conceal I love this one just can't get enough of this one all right using my RCMA powder I'm gonna use this just underneath my eyes nowhere else because I find this powder very annoying I have a love-hate relationship with this powder. I love it to death, but my god, I hate the way you have to apply it And I hate the way it goes all over you like it's all over. Look at that I don't know if you can see but it's like snowing <sighs> and using my Astralis uh, fresh and flawless pressed powder again another love So for contour, I'm also going to use another favorite. This is the Too Faced Coco contour and I'm going to use medium contour that's pretty much the only shade that I use out of this palette which is kind of a bit of a waste really so now I'm going to use bronzer now I've been loving this product as well benefit this is a cheek parade palette oh, love this palette this palette was worth every penny um I did have hula but it was like a tiny one this palette is just has been worth every penny I'm going to use um, a full strength hula today to bronze I'm just gonna go with dandelion. Dandelion is a safe bet right now, so let's just use that. Because I don't really know how dark I'm going with everything else, so let's just use this, blush it up a wee bit, and then worst case scenario, we will go darker. That is so pretty. It's such a pretty combination, actually. That hula, this palette, this palette. If you don't have it, get your hands on it. It's very good. So I just realised that I didn't even use any highlighter. That's how out of the loop I am right now. So I've grabbed a couple highlighters that I probably haven't really used a hell of a lot. And that is the Kali Cosmetics highlighter. So I'm gonna give these a go. I've got both of them. Um, I've got them in Strawberry Shortcake and this one is French Vanilla. So I'm kind of probably gonna end up layering them, I feel. Let's start with the Strawberry Shortcake. And I'm just using like a really, this is actually just a blending brush, I think. But I like to use this because it really packs on the color right where I want it so I have been using that lately and I have been enjoying it and using the French vanilla I'm actually got ooh, looking a bit black right now I'm actually going to use this as well I was going to use it wet but by the looks of that me on camera I probably don't need it so let's just use it dry and let's just try and tone down that pink a wee bit bling so I was sort of like, what am I going to do? What kind of eye look am I going to do? And I want to do something quite like dark and dramatic. Uh, but then I was looking through my drawers and I realized that I have had this palette sitting in here for months now. That is the Colored Rain. This is the Queen of Hearts palette. It is a stunning palette. And I think I've just been almost a little bit too afraid to go near it. So let's go near it today. Feel the fear and do it anyway. So this palette, can we just... Take a minute for this palette. I don't know what colors I'm gonna use. Royal Highness is really screaming out to me. Um, Duchess is really dark, so we're gonna go with that. There's that gorgeous Empress and Ladyships. There's an, a really bright orange and a really bright purple. I need some more isopropyl alcohol to clean my brushes with, but I'm kind of scared to go in there because the last time I went in there, I like took my driver's license and they made me feel like a criminal. Because <laughs> apparently you use isopropyl alcohol to make drugs out of would know but apparently you do so that's why they take driver's license and make you feel like you're really a bad person okay so let's start with some really nice baby transition colors I'm gonna go in with the shade here and this is like just a sort of a tan color we'll just go in with that just to start off nice and easy my brush is still wet this is actually a bit darker than what it looks like in the pan actually surprisingly it is definitely on the, I don't think I'm medium tan side, unless I'm like really super pale and I just don't realize it. So now I'm going to go in with a deeper shade, it is called Royal Prerogative and it's just like, it's quite a bit darker, um, it's just a sort of really neutral brown. And I'm just going to pop that a wee bit closer to my crease line. So now I'm going to go in with the shade Princess and I'm going to go Princess and then Ladyship. Ladyship is very very bright so I'm only going to use the smallest amount of this but I'll go in with Princess first. It's a bit of a sort of a mauvey tone just to mauvey up this transition shade just a wee bit. And now to go in with that really really scary shade 
Ladyship, it's super bright, so I'm only gonna use like the smallest, smallest amount. Oh, that was probably too much. Oh god, blend, blend, blend. Okay, so now I'm gonna start off with the lighter shade. I'm gonna use this shade Crown. I'm gonna use this on my very inner sort of corner. My third, my, let's just call it my first third. I'm gonna use it on. Then I'm gonna go and clean my brush and I'm gonna go back with Royal Highness, which is this beautiful sort of mauvey foiled shade. So pretty. I'm also going to wet all these shades with MAC Fix Plus just to get it really nice and creamy. And cleaning my brush and then going in with that shade Royal Highness. I'm gonna pop that on my middle third. And just going in, not wetting this one, a little bit of Queen Mother, which is this really gorgeous like royal purple. I'm just gonna pop a wee bit of that on the end. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Duchess and I'm, this is the dark, sort of a dark mauvey brown matte shade and I'm gonna use that on my last third just to create some depth on the ends there. Very impressed with this palette. It's very, very beautiful. It's pigmented, it blends really nicely. Honestly, if you've been umming and ahhing, seriously get it, it's so nice. Um, Urban Decay, this is the Razor Sharp uh, Liquid Eyeliner. This is in Bump, which is a white. And I have been seeing lately this trend of putting sort of just a white line on the inner corner above the cut crease. I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna give it a go. Ah, oh, yeah, it's all right. It adds something a little bit extra and funky, I guess. So now onto lips, I'm just gonna plump my lips first. Um, and then I'm going to use a combination of two ColourPop shades. The first one is in Panda, it's an Ultra Satin. And the second is an Ultra Satin as well, and it's in Femme. And I'm gonna use this in the middle just to sort of create like an ombre highlighted effect. All right, so that is it for my face. I'm just gonna quickly run away and do my hair. Okay, so that's it. I'm just like throwing in my hair extensions. Yeah, I just thought that I would just sit down, do a chit chat. I don't do chit chats very often. I just don't really feel like I've got really anything to say, but there was quite a bit of stuff that happened in my life that I really needed to talk about. So I kind of feel like if any of you are going through the same thing and can totally relate, then hit me up if you feel like it. Um, I'm always happy to talk to anybody and yeah, just hang in there. Things are gonna get better. This is kind of talking to myself as well. Things are gonna get better and, you know, sad feelings feel sad. Um, sadness passes, like all these feelings will pass. And one day you'll look back and laugh at it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, it felt so good getting back in that uh, makeup seat again and just doing something a little bit creative. And don't forget to subscribe, please. And you'll be seeing my face in the next one.